What's up guys? Welcome to the Crypto Savvy channel. I'm Craig and we're going to be taking a look at both the bullish and the bearish case in the small time frames for Bitcoin, but we're going to take a look at the macro first and see what I'm still looking at as a huge possibility of much more downside over the next year or so. So stick around, watch the whole video and we will be probably doing a afternoon video um, in the next few hours. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you tick your notification bells and get you notified when I post new videos. We're going to be going over viewers choice of different stocks and different coins. We'll look at the charts for you guys. So um, we're going to start that this week, uh, a couple days a week. I'm going to do that live stream. So again, make sure your notification bells tick. Make sure you scroll down, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below on what stocks you would like to see. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts so we know what we're going to be looking at. So anyways, also, uh, just make sure you smash that thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. Let's get into it. So the pre-markets are looking down for Bitcoin or for the stock markets. So could we see some pretty big downside today? That's possible. But as you guys know, sometimes your pre-markets are dumping and then it pumps and vice versa. So let's take a look at what's going on here. So here is the Amazon to Bitcoin chart. Now, what will invalidate this chart? Well, a break of 48,000 will invalidate this chart. If we do pop back up in this range like we did back here, we could see $36,000, $35,000 Bitcoin. We'll take a look at the weekly um, resistance and we'll take a look at the smaller term. So now when, you, when you're looking at a weekly chart, there's a lot of candles within that. So that's why you need to look at the smaller time frames too, which we will be doing in this video. So if this was to play out, see, there's always pumps in a bear market that get everyone bullish, kind of like what we're getting now. This is a pretty small pump though. But if it is to play out like Amazon, we could see as low as 3,700. Believe it or not, it is definitely a possibility. I'm not saying it has to happen or it's gonna happen definitely, but it is a possibility that you need to keep in the back of your mind. This is the Dow Jones on the right side, the Great Depression, and where we're at now. Now, could we be just right here and have one more big push up? That is a possibility, um, but it's looking more like this is finished here. I think this is more like right here. We just had the, obviously, the 2020 dump, but uh, I think we're pretty much topped out here, in my opinion. We'll see what happens, but I would be very cautious if you are in the traditionals. Now, looking at the Dow Jones on the daily. What I wanted to point out here was if we go from this high to this high, this is on the daily, and we go from this high to this high, that is hidden bearish divergence. We're making higher highs in the RSI, lower highs in the price action. That is hidden bearish divergence. Now, if we come out back all the way up to test this channel, could be up to in the next few weeks, maybe 3466. If we do, and break that, then we have one more leg up for the Dow and Bitcoin could probably push back up closer to the 40,000 range. But um, if we get rejected and come down today and get below this 32.9, I think we come back down uh, and break this low again. And that is it for those markets. The DXY, we got to bounce exactly where expected on the 55 EMA. Now, our resistance is at 102. If we get rejected, come back down here, break down here, then you look for a pump in Bitcoin. But if we break above this 102, get support here, um, we have much more downside for Bitcoin and the traditionals to go. Uh, let's take a look at the weekly. So the weekly, weekly resistance from breaking down from this channel is gonna be around 35 to 36,000, depending on how long it would take to get there. Um, as you guys know, right here was hidden bearish divergence, lower highs, higher highs, right? So we do have room to come down and test the bottom of this wedge in the RSI. So again, more downside in the longer term, in my opinion. Let's take a look at, oh, but remember, we could go higher. Like I said, we could go to that $40,000 range wick above this. Unless we get a close above the bottom of this channel, this all remains bearish. So we would have to get a close above this 36,000, somewhere in there on the weekly. We can wick all the way up here and still close below. You need to remember that. All right. If you guys are interested in trading before we go into the smaller time frames, check out Prime XBT, by far my favorite exchange. I don't trade against you like BitGet and Bybit and the scammy exchanges. Those are just casinos for noobs to lose their money. This is a true, um, 
the, this is an actual good platform. They don't trade against you. you. There's a contest section. You can join these contests for free to get used to the platform before trading. Make sure you got a good strategy. Um, always never start out with a bunch of money. If you're just learning to trade, start out in like the free contest section. And then, you know, maybe if you get a good strategy that's working, throw in five or 10 bucks. If you can grow that, then, you know, do what you do. If you can't grow five or 10 bucks, you can't grow 10,000 bucks. So uh, just be careful. I know a lot of people promise that you can just trade and you're gonna make all this money. You, you need to get a strategy. So on here, you can also trade pre-markets. Uh, it doesn't cost extra like a lot of exchanges. You can trade altcoins, Forex, gold, silver, oil, S&P, Dow Jones, everything from this exchange. If you use my promo code, I'll leave a video up top it is a tutorial. If you use my promo code SAVVY50, you can get up to a $7,000 bonus. SAVVY25 will get you 25% off your fees. All right, let's take a look at the daily and what happened back here. So on the daily, we had this rising broadening wedge, which gave us a target of 24.3. I still think we're at least headed down to that range. And this may be a range that we bounce around in for months. But once this breaks, we have lower targets, guys. Um, if we look at this bear flag that we had been watching forever, called the top of it here at 48K. If we go from where the trend broke and we measure this as a bear flag and we bring that bear flag down to where this broke, that could get us as low as the 68. So my target middle or end of 2023 is between 3,700 and 6,800. I still believe there's a very good chance we get to that range now let's take a look at the smaller targets so on the smaller targets if we look at this as a falling wedge which we broke out of the measured move to that gets us to right around thirty-three thousand. we also have the 55 ema at about thirty-four thousand. so 33 to thirty-four thousand. if we continue higher um obviously there's no guarantees that will continue higher if we look at from these highs to this high, this high is a little bit higher, but it's a lot lower. So even if this pumps up, the RSI gets up into this range, we're, we could go all the way up to this 38, 39,000, right? Which is the bottom of the bear flag, uh, which would also line up with the 200 EMA, but we would still be making, uh, if we come over here, we would still be making higher highs in the price, lower highs in the RSI, or higher highs in the RSI, sorry, lower highs in the price, which would be hidden bearish divergence. So that's why I remain bearish on the macro. Let's take a look at the four hours. So this is the same thing just in the four hour. Let's take a look at this. Our target of this channel, which was our bear flag, hit to the dot right here, 25.3. It nailed it. Now let's look at, like I said, I showed you before, this falling wedge, the target of that is around 33,000. Get that out of there. Right here, we take the widest point to where we broke out. Now one of the things I wanted to point out here is this could be the end. This could be a one, two, three. This could be four. This could be an ABC correction here. And if we take a look at that, I'll show you what I mean. We pull the fibs up. We go from the bottom to the top here and to our bottom high. The one-to-one -one extension could get as high as the 34,000 range. What that would be is an ABC correction. It would look like this, A, B, C, right? We Again, we don't have to go that high. We do have a target at 33 if possible, if we even continue up from here. And then what would that be? That would be a one, two, three, four, and then we'd look for five down, which, let me get this off here now, which could be around this 18. And that's just looking at this as a bear flag. And let me show you what I mean. If we put a channel on these this bottom wick here, we bring it up to right here. So we could get up, like I said, to that 34,000 range. Get a rejection come down if we break this bear flag here if that's what this does create we're looking at about 18 to 19 thousand dollar target for a bounce now remember 
these are bounce targets. It doesn't mean we drop straight down to here. We, we're gonna bounce around for a while before we get that. There's, again, the market's gonna pump. It's gonna get everybody bullish and then just continue down further. That's how it works. And then we may get a range in between this uh, 18 and 30,000 before breaking. But once we capitulate past this point, which could be months away, uh, then I look for that 37 to 30 or 37 to 6700. Now let's look at Ethereum. As you can see, I have the white thick line drawn here. Hidden bearish divergence, higher highs in the RSI, lower highs in the price action. Hidden bearish divergence. Uh, this 1919 was our target from a long time ago. Let's take a look at how I got these. We had this rising wedge here. The break of that wedge gave us the 1919 target, right? Then we had this bear flag. If we look at it as a bear flag and bring it down, that gets us a target of about 680. Now, if we are in a long-term bear market ending in 2023, these could be much lower targets. But as of right now, we're back above our 1919, but we're also getting rejected out of the 55 EMA, making hidden bearish divergence on the daily, saying there is more to the downside. Hidden divergence is a continuation of the trend. The trend is down. Um, now my next target here is about 1564. If this breaks, then I think we go down to this 680 range, possibly much, much lower. Let's take a look at Litecoin. Litecoin, same thing. If we zoom in here, hidden bearish divergence, higher highs in the RSI, lower highs in the price action. As you guys know, since we broke over here, my target has been about 24. I still believe that. Could go much, much lower if we are in the true long-term bear market. XRP, as you guys know, my target's around 28. If that doesn't hold, 17. Possibly much, much lower if it's long-term bear market. Again, higher highs in the RSI, lower highs in the price section. Hidden bearish divergence. Um, and we got rejected pretty hard at 55 EMA here. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Let me know what stocks or coins you'd like to look at. Smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure your notification bells are ticked. Take it easy, guys. I'm out.